A donor can donate different parts of the liver, including the right lobe or the left lobe, and that depends on the size of the recipient, if it's an adult or a pediatric patient, and other uh, factors. The operation is always performed by the same surgical team that includes two to three staff surgeons. It's an operation that takes about three to four hours. We perform a long abdominal incision to enter the abdominal cavity and remove the right lobe or the left lobe. In addition, the gallbladder is removed. The patient leaves the operating room with a drain placed in the abdominal cavity, IV lines, in the arms, the neck, the nasogastric tube, and urinary catheter, and spends the first night in the intensive care unit. The following day, if the condition of the patient is stable, the patient is transferred to the regular nursing floor and expected to be in the hospital for about one week. The patient is expected to leave the hospital without any tubes or drains and follow back to clinic to visit the surgeon in a week after being discharged from the hospital. And the liver is expected to regenerate back to its original size in six to eight weeks. For select patients, our program offers liver donors a minimally invasive, purely laparoscopic approach for living donor liver transplantation. As only the second U.S. academic medical center to offer this option, the laparoscopic technique benefits the living donor who experiences better recovery after operation, a quicker return to normal life, less pain, smaller and cosmetically satisfying scars, and lower risk of an incisional hernia compared with traditional open surgery. The most important aspect of living donor liver transplant is the safety of the donor. We have strict selection criteria and standards in place to determine the best surgical approach and outcome for a given living donor, whether it is minimally invasive or open surgery. Unlike open surgery that requires a large incision to access the liver, the laparoscopic procedure is performed with surgical tools and a camera inserted through a few half-inch holes in the abdomen. Once the piece of the liver is dissected, the surgeon removes it through a four to five inch incision below the navel. Despite the good outcome of living donor liver transplant, only about 5% of people who undergo liver transplant receive the organ from a living donor. Nevertheless, this life-saving procedure comes at the expense of a donor having to undergo a big surgery. With advances in minimally invasive donor surgery, the goal is to improve the recovery of donors to make it smoother and less painful. We hope this may encourage more individuals to participate in living donor liver transplantation.